Roland in Germany writes, Paul, I have now watched hundreds of your videos. <laughs> I'm sorry, Roland. And I've learned so much. Well, good, at least that. I, yeah. I also bought your book, The Stereo. Well, thank you. I hope that helped. In fact, as a result, my system now sounds really excellent, natural, transparent, and not too bright. So I want to thank you a lot. Well, thank you, sir. But I am now 50 years old. Hey, you're a baby. What are you talking about? So I'm 75, dude. I'm 25 years. Yeah, that sounds about right. About 25 years older than you are. So I'll soon have quite a hearing loss at high frequencies. Not if you take care of your hearing, you won't. All right. Does that mean my wonderful system will soon sound dull for me? Will I need new, brighter speakers like B&W in the future? What can I do that I can still be totally happy with my existing system in the years to come and compensate for my hearing loss? Well, I got to tell you, Roland, again, 25 years your senior, my high frequency has definitely dropped off. I mean, that's just part of age, but I don't have a brighter system. You don't need a brighter system. And here's some of the reasons. Well, and we're assuming that you have normal age-related hearing loss, that you don't have hearing damage. I, and I hope you have it. I hope you pay attention to your protecting of your hearing because, God, just like eyesight, hearing, I mean, who? no one wants to lose any of their senses. So protect your senses as best you can. Now let's imagine that you've done that because if you haven't, you're going to have to get hearing aids. But I don't have hearing aids. My hearing is still excellent. It isn't, I mean, I probably, I think the last time I checked, I go up to about 8K, which is not bad for an old fart, but still, it is rolled off from where I used to be. And the human auditory system, which we have to remember, is our ears and our brains. Together, they create our hearing because, well, we won't go into all that, but you understand that there's, there's microphones here, and then those microphones, you have to run it through and process it. So as we age, everything is kind of relative. So to me, I don't hear any difference in my memory from what I heard as a 50-year-old, as a 40-year-old. It's kind of like and you might be able to relate to this now that you're 50, I think all of us wind up having this image in our head of what we look like. Do you go through that? My image in my head is about 38 or 39 years old. That's about the point I stopped aging in my head. Now I look in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, geez, Louise. <clears throat> I, Terry likes to have mirrors everywhere so she can see stuff. If, if it were me, I wouldn't have a mirror in the house. Because in my mind, I see myself as this, um, you know, for, call it 40-year-old. In my hearing memory, it's the same as I have now. I still hear things better than many people. When I said, do you hear that? Nope. Well, a lot of that's experience. So my hearing is the same at 75 as it was at 50, mentally. And my enjoyment of it is identical. So I don't have a brighter system. In fact, my system is as flat as it's ever been. So no, you don't have to do that. You will adjust over time and it's all relative. So just keep focusing on getting the best equipment you can and don't worry about it. Just protect your hearing and you'll be fine. Great question. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Tschüss. Bye.